everybody. Thanks for coming back. I'm so excited to bring you another fun five favorites video. That's a lot of, uh, hi everybody. Welcome back. I am so excited today to bring you another one of my top five favorites videos. So this is where I kind of highlight five different things that I'm just currently loving um, or that I've been loving for a really long time. So I hope that you enjoy. Um, feel free to kind of give it a little thumbs up or even subscribe so you can stay tuned for more videos like these. I'm going to be kind of all over the place making all different kinds of content. So whatever you're interested, hopefully I'll have something for you. So let's get started with this is going to be kind of heavily beauty uh, influenced favorites because beauty is, and like skincare and makeup and all those things are uh, very much my favorite stuff in general and kind of where my budget goes to a lot of the time. So um, I try a ton of stuff and kind of hone in on either a very specific product that I like uh, for certain things or just a product category in general that I think is super useful. And then at the end I have some fun things to show you. So. Um, top thing I would have to say is my whole, whole life, so ever since I was a little kid, I have loved lip balm and just different flavors and smells and colors and I love the, you know, the process of putting it on and I don't know what it is, it's like an intoxicating experience for me that I love and I have like been a collector ever since I can remember from lip smackers to now. So I've kind of elevated my lip balm game as an adult and truly fell in love and this is a favorite of many with Laneige lip sleeping mask okay so yes I have four different flavors because you can't just use the same flavor over and over right you gotta have variety you gotta shake it up um so I would say my top top favorite is classic vanilla you guys this is um a huge tub of lip balm so this has 20 grams of product in here. If you ever look at like a chapstick or other tubs of lip balms, you will see that there is a lot less product in those containers. This is going to last you a really long time. And since I have four of them, I probably don't need to buy lip balm for the rest of my life, okay? So vanilla is one of my favorites. It's um, what you would think of as a classic vanilla scent. It's just very warm and I enjoy it. It makes me feel like I'm having a little treat, even though I'm not eating it. Trust me, I'm not eating it, I don't think. Probably a little bit. Anyways, so vanilla would be my top favorite. Tied for second is grapefruit. And then um, this is a brand new flavor. Is it on here? I think it's lemon sorbet. I love lemon like desserts and treats and kind of lemon everything. So when they said that this was like a special holiday limited edition flavor, I was like, yep, grabbing that one. Um, but grapefruit is really fresh and just citrusy and anything. That, it's like a real grapefruit scent and flavor. So love grapefruit equally love lemon sorbet and then I have to say I have this one and I use it pretty much daily when I do my skincare routine it's kind of the lip balm that I pop on at the end of it and this is apple lime I don't love it there's something about apple lime that almost has a floralness to it that I don't really enjoy but I'm not gonna just like toss it in the trash and say sayonara. Um, so I am working through it, but it's gonna probably take me longer to work through it. These other three live in my nightstand and I just kind of rotate them and use them every night. So it is a lip balm, but it's called a lip sleeping mask for a reason. It's thick, it's really emollient, um, and it it's the only thing that I've ever put on my lips at night. When I wake up, it's still on my lips. So that's kind of that lip mask deal is it's really hydrating your lips all night long, all the way till the morning. And I am a mouth breather, okay? So I am putting these lips to the test every single night. So do yourself a favor. They sell them at Sephora or you can get them at Laneige.com. They are like 20 bucks, okay? There's no way around it, but I'm telling you these will last you for at least six months, probably longer. So go get you some or ask for it for Christmas. Okay, next thing that I absolutely love, I've been using forever, and so it's a true, true favorite, something that I have been using over and over and repurchased, I don't even know how many times, um, is a lash serum. 
and a mascara. Now I just have mascara on today and I feel like my lashes are super long and full and fluffy and they're just my lashes. So for about a year now, I have been using this Rimmel Serum. It's called the Lash Accelerator Serum. It's actually for your eyebrows too. So at night, I just kind of pull it out. This is what the applicator looks like. It has a little brush tip and then like a little ridgy part on the wand. So I kind of just brush the wand part through my lashes and then I take the tip and I kind of run it through my eyebrows. And you know, I don't know what the magic is inside of any lash serum, but I do know that most of them are so expensive. This is like $8 at Walmart or on Amazon. And I kid you not, it works. And so whether it's ingredients in the serum or just the fact that you're kind of coating your lashes and protecting them from like breakage and dryness, I don't know what the magic is, but I'm telling you that it works. I've been using it for well over a year and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So that's what I do every night at the end of my skincare routine. And then every day, my just regular old mascara is the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara. This is what the tube looks like. I think it's currently on sale at Ulta. It goes on sale, buy one, get one half off very often. So I would recommend never buying this full price because you can always get like a BOGO situation with this. But this does have a little bit of fibers in it. This is what the wand looks like. So it's a little bit fatter in the middle and then tapers off on either end. Um, but it just really builds volume. I just put a couple coats on. It's super black. It makes them super long. And I just love the effect and I can't stop using it. And it's so, so cheap. It's even full price. It's like $5.99. So cannot go wrong. This is what I call my little eyelash power couple. So don't skip out on those. Okay, third product for today is under eye patches. So you've probably seen a million different varieties of these. Um, I've tried several. I don't know that any of them are more special than the other, um, but these I buy on Amazon. I am almost done with this entire jar. You can see, I never buy a jar that doesn't have at least 30 pairs in it because I don't wanna be buying it like more than once a month. And I do use these almost every day or night. So sometimes if I just feel like I wanna wake up feeling a little bit fresher, I will put these on at night while I'm watching TV and it just kind of soothes. You'll find that they're very cooling. They have a serum that they are soaked in. They tend to um, help de-puff your eyes. I know Good Molecules has one that's around $18 for 30 pairs and it has caffeine in it. Caffeine is a great ingredient for kind of anti-inflammatory effects. So kind of de-puffing and making your under eyes look smoother and more awake. So sometimes I wear them at night. Um, other times I'll get up and I'll do my skincare and I'll just pop them on while I'm running around the house doing various things before I put my makeup on. So um, they recommend wearing them for like 10 minutes. I just wear them until they're dry and I feel like my eyes have really soaked in all the benefits. Um, this one is a green tea eye gel patch that I got on Amazon and it was $12. So $12 for 30 pairs, such a good deal. They have not irritated my eyes at all. They come in like really pretty packaging. Look at that. And there's a couple different varieties. These are like the green tea ones. There's a pink package, all that sort of stuff. But I have loved these. I will definitely repurchase these because they're really affordable and they kind of get the job done. Um, but if you struggle, I've always struggled with like allergies and just puffiness. Sometimes at night I'll have like an allergy attack and I'll have sneeze and rub my eyes and all that sort of stuff. And so I'll wake up feeling very, very puffy and swollen. And it's just, ugh, you just don't want to walk around your day looking like you're exhausted. So I find that these really, really help. And once you kind of find your favorites, just go with those. I don't think there's anything all that special about one pair versus the other, but I am kind of a frugal franny and I like to find a really good deal. So those are the ones that I've kind of honed in on, um, but you just find one that works for you. Okay, what's next? What's next? Oh, another Amazon purchase. So I have been sort of dabbling into like skincare gadgets, I guess. So everybody, you know, has talked about the Clarisonics for forever, and that's a good sonic cleansing brush device. It also has attachments for like a facial massage. Um, there's also like these full on masks that you can use with LED lights and they're supposed to help with 
anti-aging and acne and antibacterial and all that sort of stuff for your face. Um, there's jade rollers, there's little eye rollers, there's this thing called like the Nurse Jamie Uplift thing, you know, there's all sorts of devices out there. But beauty devices are expensive. And I kind of came across this little gem on Amazon. It's so cute. Look at the color. This is what both sides look like. So you can see on the front, these are like little silicone bristles. And then over here you have this kind of metal pan and this is a LED light, okay? So it has a little on off switch here and then it's completely waterproof. You can take this in the shower with you and then this is how it charges. It's like a magnetic little USB charger. So this is what I do when I get my face cleaned at night. I use an oil cleanser and then I'll take a gentle foaming cleanser on this, turn on the vibration, get it a little bit wet, and this, I just kind of scrub it until it turns off. Um, and it really helps keep my pores nice and clean. I feel like I go to bed feeling very clean. And I even use this in the morning when I cleanse my face too. And I just, it's so soothing and the vibrations are just kind of massaging your face as you're cleaning your face. And the silicone is great for not harboring bacteria as long as you keep it clean. And it's really easy to clean and sanitize because it's not bristles, you know, it's that silicone that really cleans up really well and easily. I can talk today. Um, and then the other side is super duper fun. This is like a five in one kind of device. And so um, if I'm gonna turn it on so it might, so it's at two vibration settings for cleansing. This is the low one and then there's a high one. And then when you hit this, you can see there's a red LED light. And I don't know right off the bat what the red, blue or green does for you. You guys can research that for yourselves. Um, I've looked it up in the past and I knew it one time that I can't remember. So um, this red one though has a warming sensation. So this little um, metal pad starts to warm up. So after you've put all your skincare on at night, you can take this warm, almost like hot stone type of situation and kind of start rubbing it over your face. You're getting the LED light benefits and then the warmth helps um, your skincare to absorb into your skin and it just feels so nice. So once this is heated up and kind of um, moves on to the next phase, it will be um, vibrating and have a blue light and the blue light does something else. And then if you click past this, you get your green light. I know that's really hard to see. <laughs> um, but it's just kind of a little ritual that I have taken on in the evening while I'm sitting in bed watching TV with my husband or just hanging out and it just helps you relax from your day. I just kind of slowly move it about my face and I love it. This thing it is I think $30 on Amazon. It is worth every penny. It's by far the most affordable kind of like facial device that I have found. Um, and I just love it. So highly, highly recommend checking this out on Amazon. All right, last but not least, one of my just kind of favorite things that I have been enjoying for quite a while now. Okay, sorry for a little interruption. We had a package delivered and my dogs just cannot handle strangers. Anyways, so one of my longtime favorite things, the final top five for today is leopard print. I mean, I'm just a sucker for it. I love it in all ways and I want to have it all. So I'm going to share with you just some reasons why I love it. Oh, look at that. Um, some reasons why I love it. Um, it adds kind of, look, I'm wearing all black today. Throw on a little bit of leopard print and it's just a little bit more of an interesting outfit and gives you pattern and texture and um, it's also really trendy, which I think it's kind of never out of style. I look at leopard print as kind of a classic thing if it's done well, okay? So ways that I like to add a little bit of leopard into my outfit are in my accessories and shoes and bags. <laughs> well, bags are an accessory. So I have a leopard belt here. It has a nice big gold buckle, but you can imagine like if I was wearing this today, it'd be a very kind of cool monotone look with this great pop of leopard in my belt. I also love it in my shoes. So I have two um, similar shoes, um, but a little bit different. So we have a light leopard and kind of a deeper leopard. I like these a little bit more for like fall, winter time. And then I also like these a little bit more during the spring and summer. And this style of shoe is my favorite. I'm not a big heel person, 
I'm five, eight and a half, so I don't need any help in the height department. And my husband's about the same height as me and I don't want to like lord over him in big tall heels. So I love a little kitten heel just like this. Um, it's not quite a pointed toe, it's more of a rounded toe, but it still gives my foot nice length so that it looks kind of nice and lean. And then I love this little ankle strap. I just think it has a way of highlighting a skinny part on your body, um, which kind of gives the illusion of like, I don't know, maybe you lost five pounds or something. Um, so we have those. And then I also picked up a pair of these Crocs. Um, there was a sale at DSW last summer where it was buy one get one free pairs of sandals. And so I got four pairs of these Crocs and one of them is leopard print. I have pink, yellow, black, and these leopard ones. So my tan lines are the same all summer long and I love this little pop of print on my shoe. Okay, gonna get a little, a little more bold here. So we have a leopard furry scarf. Look at this, I love the design of this. It's super duper soft. It's very eye-catching. I think it looks really luxurious. We have a little pocket here that holds it together so you don't have to, you know, keep tying it or worrying about if it's flying off or anything. It's like hands-free and it's just this amazing little warm hug and I love how cute it is. So we have that scarf. I also have um, an entire tote bag of the same material. So I work for a fashion company named Cabby, and that scarf and this tote bag are available in our fall 2020 season. So these are pretty new to me, oh, but who doesn't want to carry this around? It's so, so cute. I love it, love it, love it. So these are very similar in um, the fabric. They're the same thing, just two different pieces. And of course I have to have them both. Now last season we had um, a leopard coat our Josephine coat so I had to have her as well and she's amazing <laughs> she is this all leopard fur coat with these really fun kind of sporty cuffs I feel like the fanciest mom on the block in this thing so I love this it's just just makes me feel so happy. So those are a lot of my favorite things. Um, actually just five of them. I know I've talked for forever about just five little things, but maybe there's something that you want to get for yourself and add to your life, or maybe you want to gift it to somebody. It's kind of a great time of year to be thinking about little ways that might make people happy and give them little gifts. So even if you wanted to just get them like one of these little lip balms and then like a little sleep mask. What a cute little gift for a friend or a neighbor. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. Um, come back for more and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.